Now that we've introduced the MB menu system, it's important to review how menu settings are saved if you want them to be permanent. That's because settings made in the menu are only temporary unless you save them. This way, you can quickly make any desired changes just for a current show you're watching or to experiment without worrying about how to get back to your previous settings. Of course, you'll likely want to make permanent changes as well. In that case, you must save your settings to the base layer or to a profile. We touched on this in a previous lesson, but just to make sure you're fully prepared for your first MV installation, let's take a closer look to really understand this. We'll use the display configuration menu for this example. Let's focus on the measured peak luminance setting. Notice the base tag on this menu item. This means that its value is coming from the base layer where the system defaults are set. If it was coming from a profile instead, the tag would show PROF. Let's say we measured 120 nits and want to permanently set this in the menu. Use the right arrow to choose 120. Notice it now shows temp instead of base. This indicates that the value is temporary and that it will revert after the next signal change. To make it permanent, press the green button to save it to base. Let's go ahead and do that. As you can see, it's now saved to base. One tip to keep in mind, if you ever change a menu setting and it immediately reverts back to the previous setting as soon as you save it, that's because the setting is being controlled by a profile and not from the base layer. For instance, let's take a look at the 3D luminance boost. As you can see here, the menu tag shows PROF. That's telling you that the setting is coming from a profile and not the base layer. If I change it to off and then save it to the base layer like this, notice it immediately switches right back to the old setting. In this case, you have to change the setting in the profile itself instead of in the base layer. We'll cover this in detail when we learn more about profiles. Well, now that you know how the menus work, we're ready to move on to our next lesson.